Here's an example of an implicit differentiation problem with a little twist. Um, notice there's a piece here, a term, x times y cubed. We really need to think of that as a product of functions. You can think of it as a function x and another function y of x cubed. So then x times y cubed is a product of those two functions multiplied together. So if we're going to take the derivative of this term in our implicit differentiation calculation, we have to treat it as a product of two functions of x, which means we're going to have to use the product rule. Let's see how that works. As usual, we start by taking the derivative with respect to the variable x on both sides of the equation. And the first term, x squared, is easy to differentiate. The derivative is 2x. But then we run into our product. So remember, we're going to use the product rule here. So let's write out carefully what that would give us. We would take the derivative of the first factor and leave the second factor alone. Then we would leave the first factor alone and take the derivative of the second factor. So all of that comes from taking the derivative using the product rule. Okay, the right side of the equation was the constant function four and the derivative of the constant is zero. All right, so let's simplify some more. I have 2x plus the derivative of x with respect to x. So d dx of x is just 1. And then I have x times the derivative of y cubed. And this is where we use the chain rule, treat y as a function of x. So the derivative of y cubed with respect to x should be 3y squared times dy dx. So now we can do the standard uh, part of this calculation where we isolate dy dx. Let's first move the terms which do not have a factor of dy dx to the right side of the equation. So we will subtract 2x and 1 times y cubed is y cubed. We'll subtract that from both sides. And then we can isolate dy dx if we divide both sides of the equation by 3y squared. So this is the formula we get for dy dx using implicit differentiation. And remember, this was an example of where we had to use the product rule to find the derivative.